All right, so moving around to the front of the camper, here's our factory uh, battery box. Pull the cover off here. So the factory battery is a 27, group 27 battery. All right, 7.1. There are no specs. So, all we know is it was made in July of 2021. Okay, so we're gonna remove that screw. And we're gonna slide this bad boy all the way over. Because this box is so close, snug this way, we're gonna lock these off with our grinder. Pretty easy. Okay, so we're just gonna put that end on the inside here. Flip you all around. Set that all the way over. Take our other box. We also cut this off on this side. Look at that. Fits. Barely. Alright, so let's set our batteries in place. And this is our new battery. It is a 840 cold cranking amps, 210 reserve capacity. This battery was 129 at AutoZone. So I thought it was a great deal. So this is basically oriented how we want it to be. Basically our negative is going to come around here and go right here. So that's our negative. Then our positive is going to go all the way over here to the positive terminal here. Alright, so my battery decided it was going to quit, so I'm not sure how much of this you heard. So we've got our two batteries in place. Our positive from the camper goes to the positive terminal here. And then from that, we have this jumper that goes to our positive on our other battery. The negative from the camper comes to this terminal, which is the negative on this other battery. So you want the negative from the camper on this side, on this battery, positive from the camper on the other one, so it pulls equally. And then again, we have a jumper from the negative here going down to the negative on this one. So basically that's going to double your amp hours, allowing you to boondock longer than you normally would. And in here on our solar, we're hopping between 13.1 and two. And because the battery is not fully charged, this is going to slowly climb. Um, but it kind of worried me at first, it was just showing 13.1. It's because this battery that I got brand new has probably been sitting on the shelf for a while and it needs to be pulled up to the correct volts. So once it's there, we should see about 13.7 on our solar monitor here. It's staying at two, so that will slowly climb and we should be good to go. So we're gonna put the caps on and we're ready to rock and roll. Well, folks, here's our finished product. We've got our solar panel there and then here. We're getting 13.7 volts in uh, broad sunlight. It's about to storm here, so we're probably only getting about 
12 and a half volts right now with partial sun. <clears throat> I found out that you can get the MC4 extension cables. So if I wanted to run even more panels for more charging capacity, I have room over there for probably two panels and one over there maybe um, if I wanted to do that. We took this out last weekend and we were completely off grid for four days and this kept our, our uh, food in the fridge nice and cool. Um, we had the lights on at night. There was no issues with um, having a shortage of power. So I'll show you the battery setup down here. <clears throat> so what I ended up doing, I didn't end up using this box because this space was just a little bit too big for those two boxes. You probably saw in that video how they were like making it bow out on this box. So I actually just left this box um, off and then I strapped the top down um, just like that. So it still is covered and protected. You can just kind of see the side of the battery, which is not a problem. Um, you primarily just want to keep moisture and stuff out of the top where the connections are and uh, preventing corrosion and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, just got our two leads here, got extra battery capacity. So this is a 200 amp hour setup now on our Gray Wolf and the solar panels are 170 each. So that would be 340 watts of charging capacity. So, so far I've been super pleased with it. Um, initially I was gonna go with the lithium but we kind of counted the cost and these this battery was a hundred dollars tax and everything and it's a 100 amp hour uh, really nice battery the other one is the same so and the panels I paid uh, 150 dollars a piece so in total to upgrade this to a 340 watt system 200 amp hours we paid a grand total of $400 to upgrade this system and if we were to go lithium we would have to change that controller in there and we would have to change both batteries obviously you have more capacity but each battery is about 400 to 500 dollars so I don't know that it's worth it for our particular application if you're doing some serious boondocking and have a bunch of panels it might be worth doing the lithium, but for us, just having these two batteries is sufficient and it works really well. Like I said, zero shortage of power for the four days that we were out and uh, we were really happy with it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful um, for your camper, whether it's a Gray Wolf 18RR or if it's any camper, this same situation applies. Um, if you didn't have solar to begin with, basically the only other thing you'd have to do is install the controller and find a place where you can run those two wires into the cabin to your controller and then from your controller to your batteries where these red and black leads come into the camper so pretty straightforward um, if you already have solar and you just want to upgrade this is super easy in total this probably took me two or three hours to do the whole thing i hope you guys found this video helpful and informative if so make sure to uh, like this video leave me a comment let me know what you think and we'll catch you guys on the next one later